This is a demonstration of some graphical facilities in the language POP11 with its object-oriented extension RCLib. I'm Aaron Sloman in the University of Birmingham, UK. I'm going to show you how to play with some simple commands and later I'll explore random walks. Uh, there's an online um, uh, file of information about the POP11 graphical facilities. If I want to use graphics when I start a POP11, I will give the command users rclib, which I've here got prepared in the editor. I type escape D and it's done. There are quite a lot of teach files, of which uh, one is teach rc graphics. If I type escape D on that, then I get another window which has all the stuff about what's available. Uh, there's an index and uh, lots of things you can do, which I'm not going to go into because I just want to show some of the ways of using those in more complex facilities. So I'll quit that teach file. There's another uh, teach file, RC graph plot, which shows you how you can use uh, these facilities in order to plot mathematical functions graphically, but I'm not going to show you that. Teach Faces is an introductory tutorial file, and I'll show you a bit of that. I'll type escape D, so that gets me the Teach Faces file, which I'll expand. I go to the air index by typing enter G and I want to go to where it says your first face. So I'll type enter G again. So it uses obviously lib, but I've done that before. This command uh, declares a variable win1 and then runs this command whose details I won't go into, but it essentially creates a graphical window with a location given by these two numbers size given by these two numbers, this says in an indirect way w whether defaults will, will obtain, for instance, the, the coordinates will be uh, the center of the coordinate system will be at the center of the window, and that's the name of it. So I'll type escape D on that command, and it um, creates the window object, which you can see up here partly off the screen, and it's assigned to the variable win1 and automatically has made the current window object. You can have different window objects. Um, that one will now be the current one. And if I give a graphical command, which is provided by the Happy Face library, escape D, I get that. And I'm not going to move this further into the window, the demo window. So we can see this is um, Happy Face command is a bunch of numbers, and I'm not going to go into details except to say that the numbers tell you where the thing is, its coordinates, its diameter, color, and some other information about the diameters of the eyes, the diameters of the circles used for the mouth, and of course the color of eyes and the, the color of the main thing, the color of the eyes and the color of the mouth. Um, notice that I can redo that by editing this file. Suppose I say happy face naught minus um, 50, then that will draw one lower down. I can make the eyes, I can change this number to um, 35, say, and give escape D command. So it's drawn it lower down, and that's overlapped a bit. Um, Here's another one at position minus 80, 80, so it means that's to the left and up, and its diameter is 50, so it'll be smaller, and it's got some yellow and some pink, so you get yellow eyes and a pink mouth. And another one, minus 80, minus 80, which will be down below, bottom left, again radius 50, let's just change that to radius 70, just to see what it does. Again, blue and all this stuff. And there we have this thing. Um, and that work command was sad face, so it ran a program which drew the mouth in a different way. I'm not going to the details of that, I just want to show you that that's an example of the library that's available. And um, instead, I will go to, um, I'll get rid of this graphics window, and I'll go back to the previously prepared files. So I use the teach faces command to get that other file which have now left. I'll expand this window and now we have some commands which have been prepared before. Um, I'm going to redo the RC new window object command with a slightly bigger window, 500 by 500, the previous one was smaller, 
and it'll be placed at a location that won't matter because I'll move it after it comes up and the wind object will be assigned to the wind one as before so I'll do that and um, this command over here wind one assigned to RC current window object means that this will be the current window that means commands I do will go in there there are other commands which I'm going to skip for now RC start just clears the window and it's clear anyway we can choose a color for the foreground that's to say a color for drawings and I will just choose black which is the default we can choose a width of lines I'm going to make it 2 so I've done escape D on that line jump to 0, well that's the current position if I ask it to print out RC X position, RC Y position using the print arrow escape D it tells me that's where the current drawing location is now at last I can give a graphical command which says draw by and it gets two numbers um, horizontal value to the right and a vertical value going up and since it's 20 it should go along horizontally to the right and not go up at all so I will uh, do escape D on that draw by and over here we see that it's drawn a little line which is 20 pixels along which you can't count um, and I can now go back and ask for the X position and Y position escape D and now it says it's been moved to 20 naught if I go back and do that command again RC draw by 20 naught that line grew a bit longer and you can work out where the RC X position RC Y position are by um, uh, just adding 20 to the X coordinate and I've given this command to print it out again and now we have a 40 there if I draw by 0 20 that means don't go left to right but go up 20 from the previous position it's gone up 20 I can then go down and escape D print out so it's now at position 40 20 so the positions changed because it added 0 20 to 40 0 and then we can use negative numbers uh, minus 20 means go left so it went left along there I can do it again escape D it's gone further left I can do it again escape D it's gone further left I can go back and do the RC X position RC Y position command and now it's a position 40 20 um, sorry I did the wrong thing uh, I, I didn't actually give the command it's minus 20 20 the previous version was there before and that's what puzzled me so we can now go down a bit by using um, 0 for the X uh, value and minus 20 for Y draw by 0 to minus 20 and it goes down a bit repeat goes down a bit repeat and it's just going down and down and we can go back and ask it to show where the coordinates are it's minus 20 minus 100 now so if I uh, leave that we can do something a bit different um, let's make the um, foreground color blue so now the things that are drawn will be in blue and notice that I here have a different draw by command instead of specifying two numbers I start with these lists of two numbers 20 naught, naught 20, minus 20 naught, naught minus 20 so these are horizontal to the right vertical up, horizontal to the left vertical down and they are in a list there's a list that starts there and ends there and it's got little lists inside it so if I give that list of lists to the procedure one of which is over there then one of will select one of these at random I have no idea what it's going to be but I'll select one at random then that will give it a list of two numbers then I can ask explode to take that which means it'll get the contents of that list and then those will be available for RC draw by so RC draw by will get one of these pairs of numbers and I have no idea which but let's just try I'll do escape D and the blue line came at the bottom if I do it again 
nothing sorry we didn't do it again I'll do it again it goes to the left I do it again it goes down I do it again it goes to the right do it again I don't see anything that probably means it went back on itself so let's see where it draws next it had gone back and now the next time went there and again and again so we can see what's happening if we let the program randomly choose one of these amounts to draw if instead of um, just drawing horizontally and vertically we give it a slightly different set of coordinates I'm going to now make it turn red and so it can draw 20 20 which means 20 to the right 20 up so it's diagonally up to the right minus 20 that's 20 to the left and 20 up which would mean diagonally up to the left and 2 minus 20s which means diagonally down to the left and this is 20 to the right and minus 20 down so it's diagonally down to the right so if I now give this command I'll see draw by and one of will as before extract one of these coordinates explode will separate out the the numbers that are in there and I'll see draw by will take those two numbers and draw so let's see what happens so it drew a little red diagonal line there do it again sorry uh, did the same thing and again then it's gone up to the right I'm going to do it over several times and in fact um, it can repeatedly go back over the same terrain and you not see anything happening so it's moved around a lot so that shows what happens if you give it diagonal options if we mix the horizontal and diagonal options which I've done here so we can go right and not up right and up not up not right but up left and up left and not up left and down not left or right but down and then right and down those are all the eight possible directions from a particular location if you take two coordinate values that are the same and as before there's a list of these pairs and that list is now twice as long but that doesn't bother one of it just selects one at random anyway which will be exploded and given to RC draw by so let's see what happens I can't remember where it drew to so I'll go back to making the color blue and give that new command so it chose to draw a vertical line over there again now it chose a diagonal line again horizontal not a visible line now vertical diagonal down to the left and so I'm going to do another five one two three four five so we can see it doing a random walk and um, uh, you can see that you can get different patterns depending on what possibilities you give it to choose for its steps in the random walk now I'm going to clear everything using the RC start command and here we define a procedure called random walk I'm going to temporarily move the graphics window so you can look at this definition S so what that will do is repeatedly do the sort of thing I've just been doing I've now expanded the window so you can see it all um, there should be a comment here saying what it is I'm not going to insert a comment but if I type to the editor enter which puts the cursor at the top and then I type proc header it reads the the editor reads the head of the procedure definition and then uh, prepares a template set of comments so it says the procedure is random walk with these parameters option steps delay clear color and then asks me to type in what those things are which I'm not going to do now it remembers the date and I could put some tests in here but I'm going to skip that that was just a demonstration so what this procedure does uh, depends on what you give it as inputs can give it a list of options like those lists of pairs of numbers which I gave you previously you can give it steps which is a number that will say how many times it should step you can say whether there should or should not be a delay between the steps uh, if there's no delay it will draw very fast if you put a delay in uh, then you can change the, the number you give for a delay 
a, a number in hundredths of a second. This says whether it should clear the window before it starts doing the, these um, uh, drawings, and that says what color it should draw. So here are the commands inside the procedure definition which I'm not going to go through in detail, but it says if clear is true, that not false, then run RC start, so that'll clear the window. If this thing is a string, you might give it uh, the boolean false, or you can give it a string like red or blue or whatever, then it assumes that's a color string and assigns that to be the foreground of the window. It ought to check that it's the right sort of string, but that's something you could add if you were copying this. Then we make it jump to the center of the picture, make it face right, and then do something repeatedly. And the number of times comes from that number there, steps. So we'll see down here we have 100 steps. And as before, we have RC draw by, which gets something from explode, which gets something from one of. And here, instead of typing the options in, it'll get the options, the list of pairs, to draw by from the input when this procedure is run. And then the delay could be false, but if it's a number, then it'll sleep for that delay. So let's just test that, and I'll bring back the graphical window so you can see the result of running the test. So we run random walk with these options, which are just the vertical ones, um, steps of size 20, four options, make it do it a hundred times, sleep for five hundredths of a second, don't clear the window, draw it in black. So let's see what happens. Oops, I forgot to compile that procedure and I got an error message. Um, if I type escape C, it compiles that procedure. So ignore what was in that other file. I will do the random walk Escape D. So there it drew a hundred steps with a five second delay between them. Um, if I ask it to do the same but with no delay, I'll make that false. And in blue, same command, you can see the steps are the same here, the options are the same. I uh, now see what that does. So that time it went down. Uh, I'll do it again without bothering to change the color. And now it goes to the right. We do it again, again. Uh, let's try it again with the window cleared, which is what this will do, if I make it true. And instead of 100 steps, make it do um, 5,000. It may go right off the screen, but never mind. So it went off the screen. Suppose we make these steps smaller. Instead of 20, I make them um, uh, 2. So I can give the editor command GSL globally substitute in the line 20 with 2 and redo that command and it'll clear the window. So we have a lot of tiny steps. Um, if I do it again, it goes in a different direction. So sometimes they're all bunched. Do it again. They can be bunched in different ways. If I make it use uh, steps of 5, I'll turn this into 5,000. Um, so here the steps are size 5, 0, 0, 5, and so on, instead of 2. It goes further goes off, tends to go off, but in varying directions. doesn't always go off. That one just remained on the screen. We can now try doing it with the diagonal steps, where instead of 5 naught we have 5, 5, and instead of naught 5, we have minus 5, 5, and so on. So these were the diagonal steps. Let's try it a 100 times, clearing the window at the start, with a one second delay between the steps. Let's change that to a thousand, again with a one second delay. And I 
I can do a thousand again but with no delay make that false and instead of blue make it red so we can see what happens ah I um, forgot to stop it clearing I'll make this false so we're getting lots of random walks in red we can also if we wish I'm going to skip one of these um, we can combine the horizontal and vertical ones like those um, sorry like 5 naught, naught 5 um, minus 5 naught and so on with the diagonal ones 5 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 minus 5 and naught minus 5 so that we, we have 8 directions of walk and let's make it um, clear the window do 100 steps with the 100th delay so I'm going to mark two lines there and make it do it again um, that's a funny little bunched up picture do it again try increasing 100 to 500 change it to blue and do it again and um, see what happens if instead of making all the steps the same uh, with the same coordinates either naught or 5 or minus 5 um, we add 1 that's 18 along and 18 down so that should tend to bias it moving more down than in other directions and I will make it pause for 20 hundredths of a second instead of only 1 and let it do just a hundred steps this time and it will clear the window first so you can see that it's just doing a lot of small steps um, it's tending to go down and to the right a bit more than in the other directions but um, that may just be because of the random selection but let's see what happens if we do it again and we don't clear the window every time so I'll make that false make it draw in blue this time and um, change it so that it doesn't have a delay it just draws it and let's give it a thousand see what that does then it still went down to the right suppose we do it again with red starting from the middle again went down to the right so it looks as if the 1818 18 is making a difference suppose we change it to 8 and plus 8 that should make it go up more to the right uh, but up rather than down but with smaller steps than before so I've got these two lines marked I do control D and it goes quite sharply up to the right in this case um, but that 8 8 thing is a diagonal up to the right Again, it's going more up to the right again more up to the right so if I change this to what it should be to fit in with the rest which is 5 and minus 5 make that negative again the thing went up to the right previously because I already had a 5 5 and so I had a 8 8 and uh, the, there wasn't a compensation for going up there so the thing just went up a lot well we do it again this time in blue again and see what happens so now we're back to all steps of the same size in the um, horizontal vertical diagonal directions of course the diagonal steps are slightly longer uh, square root of two times longer but they, the coordinate changes are the same again, 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 again and we can just fill up the screen with these random walks now there are a lot more things you can do if you want to you can make it record the positions um, and compare the heights the number of different heights above the um, origin that it reaches or the number of different um, distances from its starting point um, 
and so you can just you can you could plot a graph of the distance against the time for instance um, that could be done by slightly modifying what happens in the in the uh, middle of the loop in this procedure after each location because you can use X position and Y position to find out where the uh, drawing position has moved to but for now that's enough of this demonstration the, this file will be put on the poplog web website in the teach top level teach directory and um, it will also be included in the poplog system bye